Next tonight, as we approach three years since the pandemic began, we're taking a look at how Western New York has rebounded from it. Some of your favorite local businesses got a financial boost early on, but did the money truly set them up to survive COVID-19? Well, Erie County launched its back to business program in 2020 through a partnership with 43 North. More than $19 million was up for grabs for local businesses, less than 50 employees, 1400 businesses were ultimately picked for the grants across 60 county zip codes. Now the program prioritized businesses that did not receive other COVID related money and were forced to lay off staff members. In the end, 35% of the grants went to businesses that had lost more than half their revenue. 59% went to women owned businesses and 30% of recipients were minority owned. Seven News anchor reporter Taylor Reps went in depth to find the impact of this program. She joins us tonight. Well, Hannah, I've been doing a lot of digging, checking in with economic specialists in Erie County, and I've been just going through the data over the past couple of weeks. 2020, truly a make or break year for businesses, but we wanted to know who made it and how much did this $20 million investment help? I went to one of the businesses that got one of the largest grants to get an idea. It's been, it's been great. Thousands of shirts are printed, packaged, and sent off from New Buffalo Shirt Factory in Cheektowaga every day. Right now in 2023, things are good. You know, end of 2019, 2020, and 2021, they're, they're just like the lost years. Years where his business and many others lost money because of the pandemic. We are primarily a entertainment apparel company, so we do a lot of music merchandise. We do a lot of themed attraction and resort. There was no themed attraction and there was no live music. So they printed what they could to pay the bills. Then applied for a PPP loan and a grant from Erie County's Back to Business program, backed by federal CARES Act money, which gave them $45,000. I think it was really instrumental. I think that without that help, uh, would we be out of business? No, but would we be in a position to make the investments in our staff and our team that we made over the last two years? Probably not. According to the National Academy of Sciences, 43% of small businesses closed at least temporarily during the pandemic. In Erie County, even some that got this financial boost couldn't survive. I searched through hundreds of businesses and found several daycares, gyms, and restaurants like Buffalo Roadhouse Grill in the town of Tonawanda, whose Facebook page says thank you, but they just couldn't survive the shutdowns. There was no place so you would make decisions and you would hope they were the right decisions. But looking at the numbers, there are more open signs than closed in storefronts in Erie County. There are more than 20,000 small businesses in Erie County. 1,400 got grant money. Economic specialist Zachary Evans with the county tells me that's an impact of 6.5%, but he estimates that impact is actually closer to 10%. And it gave us a little bit of breathing room. According to the Federal Reserve, over 30% of small businesses nationwide would not have survived the pandemic without government assistance. Evan says the county's grant program cut that number by a third. I'll credit all branches of government with really trying to offer solutions that supported business when they needed to be supported. And if you remember those Shop 716 cars that were given out around the holidays in the past few years, well, the county says that generated more than $2 million for the more than 800 businesses who signed up. And they're anticipating more positive data about our local businesses this year. Hannah?